Welcome back to the Tool Crib. You know, lately I've been on the hunt for a good minimalist wallet, and I started out with one of the mo more popular models on the market today, and that's the Ridge Wallet. Well, I ended up sending it back. There was a few things that just, it was nice enough, but that just wasn't me. Uh, I did not like the fact that it was made out of metal. Uh, now, that's one of the premium features to that wallet is the fact that it's made out of uh, uh, different aluminums. Uh, you can get it anodized in different aluminums or in a titanium version. I think they have a carbon fiber version as, of that wallet as well. But I found that I didn't particularly care for the metal construction. Uh, one of the biggest things to me, though, was the fact that I didn't have a way to quickly access my ID. And the other thing was I didn't particularly like my cards being uh, my credit cards and debit cards being housed together, rubbing against one another. Uh, I don't know why. I just I just don't like that. And so I ended up sending it back because, frankly, it just wasn't me. And so I ended up getting this wallet, which I have found that I like this one very, very much. This wallet is made by House of Jack. And this is a very minimalist wallet. It's going to house five different cards. Uh, has a has a slot for your cash and most importantly to me it has quick access to my ID and that is something that I find very very nice about this wallet so let's get into this particular wallet from House of Jack now one of the things that House of Jack sends along with their wallets is this little canvas bag which is a nice little touch you can use it for any number of different things but it's kind of cool that they add something like that in there now this particular wallet uh, cost, I believe this one was $30. So right off the start, that's a huge advantage over something like that Ridge wallet, which ran into the $80 uh, range. And then it gets even higher if you get into some of the more premium materials. Now I realize that that's kind of the end thing to go with those more premium materials. I just, it just doesn't suit me, I guess. Maybe I'm just old fashioned, I'm just a leather guy. Couple of things uh, that I didn't like, again, were the cards being rubbing against one another. I didn't like the fact that it didn't have an ID slot. Um, and I just didn't really particularly care for the feel of it. Now this one, it has two card accesses, your most used cards on the outside. And if you open it up, it has three additional slots for three more credit cards or gift cards or whatever you're carrying. The cash slot, for this uh, is built very nicely. Uh, one single bifold on your cash and it slips right in. And the most important to me is that view window for quick access to my ID. Because I work on the road a lot, I'm constantly checking into hotels, getting rental cars, stuff of that nature. And so, uh, and for any number of circumstances, I need to get to my ID very quickly. And for lack of a better explanation, the layout of this wallet, just it just works. I like the fact that all the cards are separated. I like the fact that I can easily get to each one individually instead of having to fan through them and find what I'm looking for. Uh, I love the, that it has a place to put some extra cash. And more importantly, is that view window. Now, I'm a little different because, uh, and I realize that I'm in the min minority in this one. I have always carried my wallet in my front pocket. It was something my father taught me at a very young age and I've just never changed. I know that most guys are going to carry their wallet in their back pocket and House of Jack actually has a slew of different models uh, to choose from. So there are some larger bifolds, they have trifold wallets, they have even more minimalist than this one. They have some that are just going to have uh, a card sleeve uh, with, a, with a money clip, which the money clip on it is pretty robustly built by the way. And, uh, and then they have some long wallets for those who like to uh, carry a little bit more stuff with them. So they have a, a slew of different models and all of their wallets are gonna be made out of premium leather. This wallet just has a nice feel to it. And this particular one is in that burnished brown. And uh, there's, I can't remember how many different uh, colors you can get their wallets in. I think it was like seven or eight different colors that were available, but they do have a, a very nice selection of wallets to choose from. This is uh, the, the wallet that I chose though. I feel like it's gonna work best for me. I love the layout of this thing. Easy access to everything. Nothing is rubbing against one another, the cards, if you will. 
and uh, it, it just works. It just works for lack of a better explanation. This is the House of Jack Minimalist Wallet, and I actually don't remember the proper name of this, but it'll be in the video and it'll be in the description. I'll have links to this one, and I'll have links to some of those other popular models. I encourage you to check them out because this wallet is one I actually really, really like. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.